and students nowadays they come to me and they're like well every job i find online says two or three years experience i'm like yeah what did you do for four years in college books and studying books is not special anymore anybody can go to college anybody like if they have money or if they have right. a scholarship they can finish college degree that's not the hard part the hard part is actually doing the job getting experience how do you get experience you don't find anywhere to get experience make your own experience What's the difference between those who hit the American dream and those who don't, right? Because I feel like that happens a lot too. Like the entrepreneurs are the ones that always succeed. It's behind the mindset. It's behind all the things, the helpers, the people who are giving. And like, that's like a whole nother Well, they realm. see success yeah. and they think like, oh, she must be lucky. Maybe her husband. Like I remember yeah. I would hear rumors about myself to like, oh, her husband was rich. I'm like, my husband wasn't rich. Both me and my husband were going to school, mm -hmm. working, and I was even volunteering. He was volunteering so we could get as much experience before awesome. we even had kids. Um, I remember like um, working in the morning to a restaurant, you know, like doing salads, cleaning, like being a waitress, even cleaning bathrooms at the end of the day, and then going to school and then doing an internship on top of that and being a volunteer on different organizations. So when I finished the college, I already had three or four years experience. And students nowadays, they come to me and they're like, well, every job I find online says two or two, three years experience. I'm like, yeah, what did you do for four years in college? Books and studying books is not special anymore. Anybody can go to college. Anybody, like if they have money or if they have a scholarship, they can finish college degree. That's not the hard part. The hard part is actually doing the job, getting experience. How do you get experience? You don't find anywhere to get experience. Make your own experience. I started a right. blog when I was in college while doing an internship, it started unpaid. Then I found another internship that was paid. And I even like transferred credit. Like I couldn't make like that internship into a class that I didn't have to pay. And worked in a restaurant and ate free pizza. So I saved on food for Fridays and Saturdays, right? <laughs> so these are the things and steps you can take, anybody can take to just gain experience. So when you right. finish the college, what will separate you from so many other candidates is how you present yourself and show them what you did and learned mm -hmm. those four years. Nobody to this day has ever asked me, what was your GPA? Nobody. Right. And I never have had an interview that somebody said like, oh, you're not the right fit. When they said you're not the right fit is because I was overqualified because I showed them so much I did in such a short period of time. Yeah. And also things I was planning to do and I was currently doing. And that's what people need to hear. All these companies, these big corporations that you think like, oh, there's no way I can work for Google one day. I'm like, show Google what you're worth. Yeah. Don't show your college degree. Everybody right. applies to Google. Google probably has a college degree. But show them why are you different. Because right. you can basically, you're able to get the extra step and the extra effort to make a difference and be different and be creative. That's, I think, what separates you from anybody. And the same thing for entrepreneurship. Yeah. Is if you're just doing like every whatever everybody's doing, you're not really succeeding. You're not going anywhere. Be bold. Be different. Like, look at like what is going on and be like, I'll do the opposite. Mm -hmm. And then you just go with that flow. <laughs>